Hello, hello, good day. Of course, this is still June Lee Scala, and I welcome you all to our channel. At ayan, so para po sa ating mga subscribers, maraming salamat guys, no, for continually supporting our channel and also to our students and also lahat po ng mga estudyante ko sa top rank, no, and of course sa Summer State University. Kumusta kayong lahat? Sa lahat ng mga estudyante ko sa buong Pilipinas, sa lahat po ng naniniwala, no, at of course, no, sa lahat ng mga natututo dito sa ating channel, uh, kumusta po kayo? I hope and I pray that you are all doing well. And lahat po ng ating ibinababa dito sa ating channel ay uh, very very helpful naman, no? And I really really uh, received a lot of messages, lalo lalo na in the past board examination, giving their uh, appreciation, nagpapasalamat po sila. And I hope and I pray na pagpapatuloy po, no? I mean, nagpapatuloy na nakakatulong ang ating channel no sa lahat ng ating mga uh, estudyante. Okay? So, wala po tayong ibang hangad kundi makapagbigay po ng tulong sa ating mga students, sa mga uh, aspiring registered nurses natin. No? So, yan. So, let's start. And today po, we will be having rationalization ng 50 item uh, fundamentals of nursing. These are very, very easy questions. These are very, very easy concepts. However, We need to understand and we need to be very careful with these topics. It's because, simply lang po, no, uh, although they are part of the fundamentals of nursing, you know what, funda is uh, a concept na tinatanong po sa lahat ng MPs no, sa board examination. And most of the time, ito yung mga tinitake for granted natin ng mga concepts. That's why it's very essential for us no, to know uh, the entirety of this concept as this is, we say, basic. However, We must be familiar with it because in the first place, it's fundamental, okay? Or very essential, no, in the nursing practice. And we need to remember that uh, our um, board of nursing is just requiring the, you know, the, the entry-level nurses, not the basic knowledge, the basic competency knowledge for our nursing graduates, okay? So let's start with your number one, okay? Let's start with your number one. This is it. It is the most abundant extracellular cation which regulates water in the cells of the body. No, it is important for maintaining brain, nerve, and muscle functions. Okay, again, bigyan natin ng highlight class sa extracellular. Ibig sabihin nasa labas. Okay, isulat ko, nasa labas. Isulat ko. Nasa labas, cation. Ibig sabihin, it's a positively charged uh, electrolyte. Okay? And, importante daw siya, class, sa pag-maintain no, ng brain, nerve, and muscle functions. And it regulates water. Okay, alam na alam na natin yan, class. Okay, tandaan niyo alam nyo, nasa nursing school ako, uh, tinuro na sa atin no, yung konsepto ng piso. No? Okay, potassium inside. O, sinasabi na potassium inside, sodium outside. Pero most of the time kasi nagkakamali tayo, tayo doon. No? Because we say that potassium is um, inside, Uh, sodium outside. Well, tama naman yon, but in some cases kasi, no, they are vice versa in by nature, no, or in nature. So, that's correct. We need to remember that potassium is inside the cell and sodium is outside the cell. Okay? For this time, no, to to help us rationalize, so eliminate po natin yung dalawang options because the battle is actually just between, okay, potassium and our sodium. We need to remember that when you are asked the most abundant electrolytes no or the most abundant substances in our body especially talking about your fluids and electrolytes we need to remember of just two things is the potassium versus sodium now dito the battle is just be between potassium and sodium and you need to remember class okay that your uh, potassium is is an intracellular electrolyte okay ibig sabihin nasa loob siya ng cell ang pagkakaiba po nila Hypothetical, ito po yung ating cell, ha? Hypothetical, this is our cell. Okay, this is our bloodstream. Ang pagkakaiba po nila, class, is that you need to remember that your potassium is normally is inside the cell. Okay, nandito po normally yung ating potassium. Upon the other hand, class, yung ating sodium is a, is a is an or a extracellular cation. We need to remember that one, that as your NaCl, okay, is outside of the cell. 
That's why the correct answer for this one class, eliminate natin si potassium na best answer for this one class is of course letter A, sodium. Okay, isulat mo na yan. And again, you need to remember that it is responsible, tandaan lang natin, for maintenance of your brain. Okay, brain, nerve, tandaan ninyo, tandaan ninyo, and then ating muscle. Because all of these things, class, are related to our next, okay, or succeeding questions. Okay, let's proceed to your number two. When caring for a patient with hypernatremia, Nurse Ella is correct when she states the following as cause of this problem. Except, okay, ganito class. We are given here a question na mayroong hypernatremia and we need to remember, para mo masabi na mataas, you need to remember because there are just some few things in nursing profession or nursing education that you need to, to memorize. Nung nasa college ako, talagang sinasabi ng mga professors namin sa minor that oh, your nursing course or your nursing education is just merely memorizing. But I beg to disagree to that. Because your um, nursing education is not just merely memorizing but understanding the concept because you are going to save lives. Okay? Now remember that your uh, there are some few things no, that you need to memorize in nursing and those are your normal values. And your normal value for your sodium class, you need to remember, is 135 to 145 milligrams per DL. You need to remember this one. Ha? Again, 135 to 145 uh, milligrams per DL. Now, ngayon, hypernatremia, ibig sabihin mataas. Okay. Now, when caring for a patient with hypernatremia, nurse Ella is correct. Ibig sabihin, tama dapat when she states the following as cause of the problem except. Simple lang ang tanong. Pinahanap lang kung ano yung maling option dito as a cause class of your hypernatremia. Sabi sa letter A, osmotic diuretics. Letter B, diabetes insipidus. Letter C, low sodium intake. Letter D, inactivity. Okay, tandaan ninyo ha. Okay, the most important uh, thing that you need to consider here class is that there are some oh no, there is a uh, how they call this the extreme option no that's why sinasabi dito oh uh, all of the following daw no is a cause of hypernatremia except alin daw dito sa mga sumusunod ang hindi the best answer for this one kasi hyper oh, okay the best answer for this one you need to remember simply lang class, okay, meron tayo dito the best answer for this one class is letter C kasi mababa yung sodium intake bakit matataas yung sodium mo dito okay, you need to remember and of course, the best answer for this one is letter C you eliminate letter A, bakit? osmotic diuretics class, it causes fluid loss, and that's why class, nagkakaroon lang tayo ng hypovolemic hypernatremia, okay, letter B diabetes insipidus, easy rin ang easy patient that's why it's all the same okay, uh, eliminate natin si letter B uh, in activity class, it's uh, of course no a very very um, uh, non-relatable class to your sodium class. Okay. However, the most obvious answer to this one class is of course your letter C, low sodium intake. The best answer for this one is of course letter C, low sodium intake. Okay. Let's proceed to your number three. When caring for a patient with hypernatremia, Nurse Ella is correct. When she states the following assessment of this problem, except, simply lang yung tanong, okay, may hypernatremia ulit class, you need to remember may hypernatremia ulit, okay, nurse Ella daw is tama daw, okay, when she states, ano daw yung mga sinasabi, no, uh, na mahahanap, okay, sa hypernatremia, alin daw yung hindi, kasi may except tayo dito, okay, now, you need to remember, go back, going back, it affects your, Okay, your sodium is a or is an abundant extracellular cation which regulates water and affects okay or regulates your brain, your nerve and then muscle. Tandaan niyo, your brain, your nerve, your muscle at may konting GI yan at may konting cardiovascular yan. Okay, isa-isahin natin ang option at, at tingnan natin kung ano yung wala. Letter uh, ano yung mali? Letter A, letter G. Okay, letter G class, related ba siya class sa nerve or muscle? That's correct. That's why you eliminate it because it's related to either of these two. Very good. Now, cosmos respiration, tandaan niyo this is respi in nature. Okay, letter C, muscle twitching. Ayan na, very obvious. So, muscle, related siya sa muscle. That's why you eliminate it. Letter D, edema. Edema class, related siya sa cardiovascular 
that's why you also eliminate it. So the best answer for this one class is of course letter B. Is sulat mo na yan. Okay? You need to remember Cosmos Respiration class is actually a complication or a symptom class that's occurring class in your um, imbalances related to potassium class. Okay? And also in your diabetes. Okay? Diabetes mellitus. Let's proceed to your number four. What is the most important nursing consideration when, okay, in treating a patient with hypernatremia? Sabi sa letter A. Simple lang, no? Avoid sunlight. Letter B, provide magnesium sulfate at bedside. Letter C, slowly correcting the imbalance. Letter D, restricting fluids class. Alam nyo, kapag nasa sagot or nasa options class yung restricting fluids, you always do not answer that one class. Okay, we seldomly restrict fluids even in your management of your hyponatremia class. We still, I mean your hypernatremia, we still give free water. Okay, yan yung sinasabi ni Brunner and Sudar at saka ni Saunders, no? But for this one class, okay, you need to remember class that, okay, isa lang ang hint dito, you need to slowly correct the imbalance class. Okay, you need to slowly correct the imbalance to avoid, to avoid, tandaan ninyo ha, tandaan ninyo, to avoid your what we call as your cerebral, 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 cerebral what? Cerebral edema, cerebral edema, you need to remember that one, Okay? The correct answer for this one is, of course, letter C. Okay. Hmm. Provide magnesium sulfate. Non-relatable. Okay. Um, also, your avoid sunlight. Uh, not relatable class also. You need to remember that you need to slowly correct the imbalance. No, You need to have it gradually managed to avoid cerebral edema. The best answer for this one is, of course, letter C. Which of the following is not a treatment used in hypernatremia? Okay, sabi sa letter A, free water administration. Letter B, diuretics. Letter C, bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate. Letter D, intravenous fluids. Tandaan niyo ha, again, this is a highlight. Ang ganitong mga tanungan class, ibig sabihin, hypernatremia or simply sodium is a highlight topic class in these questions. Ganun sa board exam class, oh, there are some topics or there are some concepts na kung saan nagiging highlight topic sila no in the board examination. Okay, for this one may hypernatremia ang pasyente mo, class, tandaan niyo. Okay? Alin daw ang hindi treatment no sa hypernatremia na yan? Sabi sa letter A, free water administration kasasabi ko lang. This is correct. Okay, hinanap natin not Ta tama class. Kasasabi ko lang that we even give free water, okay, or water administration class in your cases of hypernatremia. Letter B, low diuretics, and this is also correct, class. Okay, this is also correct because this is used in managing your hypervolemic hypernatremia. Okay? Or yung type of hypernatremia na kung saan sobrang maraming uh, water no, sa katawan natin. And then letter C, sodium bicarbonate, letter D, intravenous fluids. You know what? Your IVF is also correct. Okay, however, we just use either isotonic or hypotonic type of fluids depending on the doctor's order okay now for this one class you need to remember that the best answer for this one class is letter C tandaan ninyo may hypernatremia na si pasyente mo you don't give okay anything na makakapagpataas pa sa sodium niya okay the, that's why the best answer for this one class is letter C kasi hinahanap natin not a treatment okay ito again this is a treatment another treatment and of course letter D as well. Okay, the best answer for this one class is letter C. Number six, what dreadful effect may become a result of rapid treatment of hypernatremia? Kasi sabi ko lang, class, it's not lung collapse, it's not pulmonary congestion, it's not crackles, but of course, the best answer, of course, is letter A, cerebral edema. Again, that's why I told you, class kanina, to manage it gradually or slowly to manage the imbalance gradually or kung wala sa options class hanapin ang word na slowly okay the best answer for this one class is of course letter a number seven the nurse is caring for a client whose most recent serum sodium level was 152 milliequivalent per liter which of the following signs and symptoms do they suspect are caused by the client's sodium level Okay, select all that apply. Alam nyo, huwag agad tayo class magsisisure kapag nakakakita tayo class ng tanungan na SATA. Okay, SATA is select all that applies. Okay, you need to remember class, 
that sata is simply a true or false type of question. Ibig sabihin, iisa-isahin mo lang yung option if, if it is neither true or false to what is being asked. Okay, sabi dito, merong hypernatremia kasi mataas, that's why sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na you need to memorize the normal values. Again, the normal values is 1, 3, 5, 2, 1, again, to 1, 4, 1, 4, 5. 1, 3, 5, to 1, 4, 5. At dito, bahagyang mataas, or mataas talaga siya class kasi nasa 152. Which of the following signs and symptoms do they suspect are caused by the client sodium level? Ayan, hanapin lang again and again and again and again. Ale, again, related lang siya sa tatlong major, major system or organs. Group of uh, organs sa katawan natin class. It's your brain. Okay, it's your brain. Of course, your nerve. And also class. Your brain, your nerve, and also your muscle. Remember, at may konti yung GI at mayroon ding konting cardiovascular. Sabi sa letter A, letter G, sinabi na natin yung kanina, that's why, okay, it's correct. Okay? It's correct. Okay? Letter A is one of the answers because it's related to your uh, muscle. Okay? And also your nerve. Now, letter B, dry mucous membrane. Dry mucous membrane, you need to remember GI yan. That's correct. The keep niya, again, kapag makakita tayo plus ng respi, okay, hindi yan related to your um, hypernatremia. Letter D, cyanosis. Cyanosis is still class part of your respite. That's why you do not answer that one class. Again and again and again and again, you don't answer respite. And of course, letter E, dry mouth. This is still part of your GI. The best answer for this one is letter A, letter B, and then letter E. So that, that those are the correct answers. Okay? So number 7, A, B, and E. Let's proceed. Which of the following assessment if found in a client experiencing hyponatremia would need immediate care? Sabi sa letter A, loss of appetite. Letter B, hyperactive bowel sounds. Letter C, lethargy, lethargy or lethargy. Letter D, seizures. You need to remember class that the most dreadful, okay, or yung uh, situation ng client mo, experiencing sodium imbalances class, is of course automatic yan, seizures. You need to remember that. Okay? Seizures is an emergency class. Okay? The best answer for that one class is, of course, letter D. Wala nang ibang sagot. Number nine. When caring for a patient with problem on sodium levels, the nurse is correct when he reads on which of the following on why fluid replacement must be done slowly. Letter A. To avoid hypercalcemia. Letter B. To protect the lungs from overload. Letter C. To prevent paralysis of the extremities. Letter D. To prevent cerebral edema. Alam na, alam na natin to. The best answer for this one class is letter D. Okay, isulat po na yan. Next class, let's discuss about okay, the vital signs natin. Okay, sabi dito sa number 10, which of the following daw is true about vital signs? Okay, which of the following is true? Bilugan po natin yung true about vital signs. Okay, sabi sa letter A, adrenal gland serves as the vital sign center. Sabi sa letter B, spinal cord plays a major role in monitoring body temperature. Letter C, hypothalamus is responsible for thermoregulation. Letter D, adrenal medulla serves as the vital signs center. Take note class, ang tinahanap natin dito is totoo about vital signs. Okay? And you need to remember class that adrenal gland, okay, and adrenal medulla class, kung inyong mapapansin, your letter, letter, your letter A po and letter D actually are all the same class. Okay? Pareho po sila. Okay? That's why class, you, we can't have the same answer. Okay, kapag equal po sila class, that's also wrong answer. Okay, sabi sa letter B, spinal cords, spinal cord plays a major role class in monitoring body temperature. Letter C, hypothalamus is responsible for thermoregulation. Tandaan ninyo class that, okay, okay, tandaan ninyo class that your spinal cord class has nothing to do, okay, with monitoring your body temperature because class, your thermoregulate, thermoregulation center class ng katawan ninyo is your hypothalamus. That's why the best answer for this one class is letter C. Is the best answer. Okay? Letter C is the best answer. Number 11 tayo kapatid. A construction worker falls from the building second floor while preparing building walls. Okay? Upon arrival at ER, the nurse assessed temperature at 41 Okay, degree Celsius. Tandaan niyo class, mataas yan. Okay, ang normal po natin dyan is 36.5 to 37.5 degree Celsius. Okay, chilling with GCS of 7 class. As a nurse, you as a nurse class, knows that which of the following, uh, 
Okay? Which of the following? Okay? Um, ang naging cause or, or naging reason why nagkaroon class ng elevation of body temperature. Okay? Sabi sa letter A, destruction of the hypothalamus. Letter B, rapid bacterial invasion. Letter C, heat energy as an effect of falling. Letter D, hot environment while uh, where the client fell. The best answer here, class, okay? Tandaan ninyo, Maling-mali class yung rapid invasion class of bacteria. Walang ganon class na because of rapid bacterial invasion, nagkaroon agad class ng okay, uh, effect ito sa katawan natin. No, that's wrong. Okay, also, the heat energy as an effect of falling class is also wrong. And of course, hot environment class cannot create class A. Um, consistent, okay, body temperature of 41.3 uh, degrees Celsius. That's why class the best answer for this one. Class is of course... This is because of the destruction class of the hypothalamus. And you have to remember class again and again and again. As I have said class in our previous um, item, that your hypothalamus class is your thermoregulation center. Okay, sulat ninyo. This is your thermoregulation center. Okay, your, thermo, your thermoregulation center. Number okay, class, let's discuss your number 12 class. Okay, class, let's discuss your types of your temperature. We have your dalawa. Okay, we have your core temperature, isulat mo, and we also have your surface body temperature. Again, we have your core temperature and we also have your surface body temperature. Okay, now, let's talk about your core temperature class. Kapag sinabi natin core temperature class, this is something that is internal. Alam mo na to, internal class. And kapag sinabi namang surface, this is something that's external or nasa labas. Okay, external or nasa labas. Class, kapag sinabi natin core we have your rectal. Isulat muna. You have your rectal. You also have your, pangalawa, you have your oral temperature. Upon the other hand, class, kapag sinabi nating surface body temperature class, mayroon tayong number one, mayroon tayong class axillary body temperature. Axillary. Isulat mo. Axillary. Okay? Axillary body temperature. Okay? And we also have your tympanic body temperature. Okay? Tympanic body temperature. So, class, tandaan ninyo, class, okay, that uh, there are two types of the temperature class, the core and the surface temperature. So, yung tanong dito, which of the following is not a core body temperature? Sabi sa letter A, rectal, letter B, oral, letter C, axillary, letter D, none of the above. So, ang best answer dito, class, is of course letter C, wala nang iba. Okay? The best answer here is letter C. Okay? Number 13. Which of the following is true about? Yan. Which of the following is true daw about surface body temperature? Sabi sa letter A, it includes oral body temperature. Okay? Surface ha? Again, surface. That's why class letter A is wrong. Okay? Because we all know, eliminate mo na yan. Letter A, wrong. Kasi ang oral body temperature is A. Core body temperature. Sabi sa letter B, it is in the internal body temperature. Bali yan kasi sinabi nga natin that it must be external. Okay? Sabi sa letter P, it is... Sabi sa letter C, it is the external body temperature. Letter D, it includes rectal body temperature. Again and again, your rectal, this is still your core body temperature. Okay? That's why class, the best answer for this one class is of course, letter C is the best answer. The best answer class is that it is an external body temperature, okay? Number 14, it is the safest route in taking body temperature. Class, tandaan ninyo class kapag sinabi natin safest class, okay? The best answer, wala nang iba class, it's your, okay, axillary body temperature, okay? Axillary body temperature. It's not oral class, it's not oral, okay? It's not tympanic, and it's not rectal class. Okay, the best answer for this one is axillary body temperature. It is the fastest route in taking body temperature. Class, kapag sinabi naman or tinanong kayo what is the fastest route, you immediately answer your tympanic membrane. You can get the result as fast as actually 2 seconds. Okay, it's that axillary, it's that oral, and it's that also rectal class. The best answer here, class, is of course letter C. Okay. It is the most accurate source of body temperature class. Simply lang, kapag tanungin naman kayo, what is the most accurate, most accurate, isulat ninyo, most accurate source of body temperature, the best answer for this one is of course, rectal. Okay, kapag hindi class na ilagay class, yung most accurate, ilagay ninyo, the most reliable. Okay, the most real, reliable source class of body temperature. The best answer class is letter D. 
number 17. It is the most convenient. Yan. Kapag nabasa nyo naman class, yung most convenient na line class is of course, you need to think, wala nang iba, it's your oral body temperature. Okay? It's your oral body temperature. Tantan ninyo, again, the, mo the most convenient class is oral body temperature. Nakuha? Okay, which is an internal body temperature or core body temperature. Speaking of rectal temperature, must be avoided to which of the following patients? Okay, sabi sa number 18, ano na sa mga sumusunod class ang ipinagbabawal no? sa ating pong uh, pasyente no? sa pagguha ng kanyang rectal temperature? Letter A, a patient who had a seizure. Letter B, a patient who is experiencing hypotension. Letter C, a patient with left-sided paralysis. A patient with or who has an underarm lesion. Tandaan ninyo class that Yung hinahanap natin dito class is yung mga contraindications class for rectal body temperature. Okay? Yung contraindication. Ibig sabihin, ano lang ang contraindicated? Yun lang yung ibig sabihin class ng question na ito. Okay. Ano ang contraindicated dito? Okay. Sabi sa letter A. Okay. This is contraindicated class in your oral temperature. Okay. In your, I'm taking your oral temperature. Hence class, your late letter A class is wrong. Tandaan ninyo. Okay. Sabi sa letter C, a patient with left-sided paralysis, pinagbabawal dito ang axillary. This is for axillary specific class. Letter C is wrong. Letter D, a patient who has an underarm lesion class. Of course, axillary rin to. Very obvious kasi nasa kilikili. That's why the best answer for this one class is of course, letter A is the best answer. Okay? Letter A, uh, letter B, sorry. Letter B is the best answer. Isulat mo na. Okay? Number 19. Alex had a stroke and is experiencing left-sided hemiparesis. Kapag sinabi natin hemiparesis class, nagkaroon ng paralysis. Okay, paralysis to one side, which is left-sided daw. Okay, okay, at left side. Yan, may meron siyang class, paralysis at left side. Okay, Ronnie, nurse Ronnie must take note to avoid which of the following. Okay, ano daw yung aaboy dito ni Ronnie? Letter A. Taking a rectal temperature. Letter B, using infrared thermogun. Letter C, taking temperature through axilla. Letter D, none of the above. Ano yung avoid dito class? Is of course, we must avoid kasi nagkaroon ng left-sided hemiparesis class. Okay, this is very specific too. Okay, you must avoid to take body temperature through axilla. You must remember this one class. Okay, that's why the best answer for this one class is letter C. Okay, letter C. Okay. When taking tympanic temperature, the nurse should take note to acquire by to acquire the temperature, okay, through the letter A lateral aspect of the eye, letter B ear canal, letter C ear lobe, letter D cheeks. Sagot? Okay, it's not the lateral aspect, okay, of the eye. Nandun, ang nandoon class is the temporal pulse. Tandaan niyo, okay, it's not the ang naandyan class is your temporal pulse. Okay? That's why letter A class is wrong. Okay? I-wrong muna yan. Eliminate ko na. Letter B, ear canal. Letter C, ear lobe. Ear lobe class is never class. The side class for taking your tympanic temperature. It's not class your cheeks. Of course, the best answer for this one class is letter B. Okay? Nakuha ninyo through the ear canal. Remember this one. Okay? Number 21. It is the transfer of... It is the heat loss down. No? It is the transfer of heat through air current. Class, kapag air current class, tandaan ninyo. Kapag air current, tandaan ninyo. It's automatically class. Okay? It's what we call as your convection. Isulat mo na. Okay? Convection yan. The best answer class is letter A. Okay? How about the transfer of heat no, through direct contact? Alam mo na yan. Okay? Kapag direct contact la class, okay, it is automatically your conduction. Tandaan mo. Okay? Kapag direct contact class, it is your conduction. Okay? Now, number 23, the transfer of heat naman through indirect contact. Class, tandaan ninyo kapag indirect contact class, okay, it's what we call as your radiation. Ang best example nito class is yung infant warmer. Example nito class is your infant, okay, infant, is yung ating mga infant warmer. Okay, isulat mo na yan. Okay, yung ating mga infant warmer. Okay, letter D, evaporation is also wrong. Okay. Now, it is the transfer naman of heat no, through with water vapor. Class, kapag water vapor from the word itself class, nandyan na, it's evaporation. Okay? It's evaporation. The best answer for this one class is, of course, letter D. 
Okay, that's the best answer. Number 25, damage to hypothalamus may cause which kind of decline of body temperature? Tandaan ninyo, there are two types of decline of body temperature. Okay, there are two types of decline of body temperature. Decline of fever or body temperature. Okay, there are two types of decline. Number one, number one class is what we call as your lysis. Okay, lysis which is gradual in nature. Okay, gradual and this is class normal. Okay, this is normal in nature. Upon the other hand, meron tayo tas class tinatawag na, okay, crisis, crisis, okay, crisis which is the something that is abrupt or the process of abrupt decrease class of body temperature and this is something that's abnormal. Okay, abnormal. Okay, class, kapag nagkaroon ng damage to hypothalamus class, utang na loob class, wala po tayong genesis. Okay, wrong yan. Okay, eliminate letter uh, C. That's why the best answer for this one because nagkaroon ng damage and it's something that is negative class. Nagkaroon ng damage, asahan ninyo class na abrupt class. That's why class, the best answer for this one class is of course letter B is the best answer. Okay? Uh, letter, okay, correct. Letter B, okay? Kasi uh, abrupt, okay? Abrupt and abnormal. Okay, letter B, crisis po ang mangyayari po dito. Number, okay, 26. Damage to hypothalamus naman class, okay, may cause which kind of decline of body temperature. Inulit po yung question class, okay, that's why alam nyo may mga pagkakataon na ganito ang mangyayari class sa words, ha? Okay, uh, may, may mga pagkakataon na ganyan. That's why class, the best answer for that one is crisis. Which of the following conditions a nurse should avoid to use rectal route in acquiring temperature? Select all that apply. Alam nyo? Kapag SATA po ang type, type ng examination, huwag kayong mag-alala because this is just like your true and false exam. Okay? It's just a true and false process of elimination. Okay, sabi dito, isa, i-guide natin kayo ha. Okay, which of the following daw conditions should a nurse okay, avoid to use rectal route and acquiring temperature, select all that apply? Alin daw dito ang mga uh, scenario or ang mga examples na kung saan hindi natin pwede gamitin class? Okay, yung ating rectal route in acquiring temperature. Sabi sa letter A, okay, sabi sa letter A, a patient with diarrhea, and that's correct class, okay? We should not use class, okay, correct yan? Okay, rectal route in acquiring body temperature kapag may diarrhea. Sabi sa letter B, a patient experiencing bradycardia, and that's also correct because sabi nga natin class, okay, matatamaan dyan yung vagus nerve at yung vagus nerve class, Okay, is pampabagal ng puso. Vagal, vagal, vagus, vagus, vagal, vagal ng puso. That's why class, kapag magkaroon or ginalaw pa natin, trigger class ang ating vagus nerve class, hence madadagdagan pa ang pagbaba ng ating heart rate. Letter C, a patient who passed blood stool and that's also correct kasi nga may blood stool. Okay, okay. letter D, a patient recovering who had sits bath, that's correct. Okay. A patient recovering or recovery patient who had a sits bath. Ibig sabihin class, may trinitrit sa kanya sa kanyang anorectal area. Okay? Letter E, a patient with left-sided paralysis. This is irrelevant class. Okay? Mas may kinalaman to class sa inyong axilla. Okay? Mas may kinalaman to sa inyong axilla. Letter F, a patient below 5 years old class. This is also irrelevant class because ginagamit natin to class. Or this is a class A contraindication class sa paggamit ng oral route of your okay taking a body temperature that's why the best answer for here class is letter okay ang tamang sagot dito is letter A isulat ninyo B C and D okay sagot A B C and D okay number 28 when taking axillary temperature the nurse must recognize the following actions okay when take, taking daw class axillary temperature when taking axillary temperature, the nurse must recognize the following actions except ano daw dito ang hindi natin ere recognize Letter A, pat drying the axilla. Letter B, rubbing the armpit to keep it dry. Letter C, providing client's privacy. Letter D, inspecting for presence of axillary lesions. Tandaan ninyo class, okay? Tama po yung pagpapat dry. Correct yan. Okay, tama yung pag-provide natin ng uh, client's privacy. Okay? Kasi halimbawa, class may mga uh, patients tayo na no, they are not comfortable no of uh, na naka-expose yung kanilang axilla. May ganun, no? Okay, letter D, inspecting for presence of axillary lesions. And that's correct, class. 
we need class to assess that one. And uh, of course, kasi hinahanap natin class yung mali, ganito class. Okay? So, the best answer for this one kasi exact yung hinahanap natin class is letter B. Tandaan natin, we do not rub class our armpit. As, bakit? This will class, okay? Ele this will elevate class our body temperature dyan, okay? Or your temperature natin na makakuha. Hence, magiging false positive po kasi nirub po natin ang area na yan, okay? The best answer for this one class is letter B. Okay, number... 29. When taking axillary temperature, the nurse must recognize the following actions except, okay, sabi sa letter A, pat dry the axilla, okay, the best answer for this one class, alam na natin to, this is rubbing, okay, tandaan, this is rubbing, okay, now, number 30. Which of the following is true about taking body temperature? Letter A, it must be taken in 2 to 60 seconds, okay, letter B, it may be taken up up to 2 minutes Letter C Both A and B are correct Okay Letter D None of the above So alam nyo class Tandaan ninyo Ang hinahanap natin is true About body temperature And in taking up your body temperature class It's true that you can take it from 2 Hanggang 60 seconds And a maximum of 2 minutes Okay A maximum of 2 minutes So that's why class The best answer for this one class Is letter C Both A and B are correct Letter C lang ang tamang sagot class. Okay? Number 31. A patient arrived at ER with blood pressure of 140 uh, millimeters mercury. What is the patient's pulse pressure? Okay? What is the patient's pulse pressure class? Ganito yan. Okay? Your um, pulse pressure class is the difference. Tandaan ninyo ang inyong pulse pressure class. Pulse pressure is the difference. The difference between class your systolic and your diastolic BP. Okay? Hence, dito class, ang inyong systolic BP class is 140. Okay? Tapos, minus natin ang 120. So, the best answer for this one class, okay, the pulse difference, uh, the pulse pressure class or the difference, no, between your systolic and diastolic BP is 20. Hence, the best answer class is letter C. Okay? It's letter C. Nakuha ninyo? C is the best answer. Number 32. It is the difference between the apical pulse and the peripheral pulses. Class, the difference class, okay, between the apical pulse, o yung point of maximal impulse na nasa puso, okay, nasa fifth intercostal space, okay, fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line natin, class, okay, ang tawag natin dyan is your apical pulse. Okay, ang difference nila between your peripheral pulses is tinatawag po natin pulse deficit. Pulse deficit. Okay? Nakuha. The best answer for that one class is letter B. Okay. So, it is the difference between your systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Sinabi na natin kanina, it's what we call as your pulse pressure. And when talking class about your normal pulse pressure class, the normal pulse pressure class should be 30 to 40 millimeters, millimeters mercury. Tandaan po natin yan. Okay? The normal pulse pressure class, it's 30 to 40 millimeters mercury. Okay. Class, tinatanong tayo, what is the normal pulse deficit? Ang sagot class, it must be zero. Okay, dapat po, pareho po, ang ating pong apical pulse. Apical pulse must be equal class to your peripheral pulses. Okay, tandaan ninyo, your apical pulse must be equal to your peripheral pulses. Okay, pulses, tandaan natin yan. Okay, number 34 is letter A. Number 35, it is the strength of the pulse. Very good. Kung gaano yan kalakas, okay, ang tawag natin doon class is pulse amplitude. Wala nang ibang sagot. Pulse amplitude po ang tawag natin dyan. Okay? Pulse amplitude is the best answer. Letter A is the correct answer. Okay, normal pulse pressure, sinabi na natin kanina, the best answer for this one class is 30 to 40 millimeters mercury. Okay? Normal pulse pressure. Again, this is the difference between your systolic and diastolic BPE minus mo lang yan. Yan ang inyong pulse pressure. Okay? Normal pulse amplitude. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin pulse amplitude class, ang scoring natin dyan kapag zero class. Okay? That's absent. Tandaan niyo that's absent pulse. Okay? Kapag one, that's weak or tinatawag minsan na thready. Okay? Weak. Uh, weak and thready and or thready and then number two class is your normal pulse okay and then number three naman class is full 
okay full okay full or pulsating okay pulsating okay pulse so ang sagot diyan dito class normal class is number 2 c is the best answer okay sa pulse amplitude yan okay sa pulse amplitude Freddy or weak pulse is scored as ayan alam na natin class it's number 1 okay 1 is the best answer okay number 12, 39 absent or no presence of pulse is scored as 0 yan very good alam na natin yan okay and how about bounding pulse or full pulsating pulse is scored as number 3 okay letter d is the best answer okay yan Plus, your normal ICP, okay, your normal intracranial pressure class is, okay, tandaan niyo your normal intracranial pressure is less than 15 millimeters mercury. Tandaan niyo ha, okay, your normal uh, ICP is less than, okay, 15 millimeters mercury. Your 10 to 21 class is your intraocular pressure or your IOP. Your 120 over 80 is your normal BP. So, the best answer for this one class is, of course, letter A. Okay? In cardio, in adult cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR, the responder uses which pulse site? Okay, anong pulse site daw class ang ginagamit in assessing class of cardiovascular status sa CPR class? Okay, sabi sa letter A, brachial, letter B, ulnar, letter C, popliteal, letter D, carotid. And you need to remember class that this is an adult CPR. Okay, you need to highlight the adult CPR. So, ang ginagamit po natin class, for your adult CPR class, for your adult CPR class, it's your carotid pulse. Tandaan natin, or carotid pulse yung ina natin. For your infant CPR upon the other hand class, your infant CPR naman class, it's your what we call as your brachial pulse. So, ang tamang sagot dito class, the best answer for this one class is, of course, letter, okay, letter D, okay, kasi adult CPR ang tinatanong, okay? Number 41 is letter D. Number 42, in infant CPR naman, ano ang ginagamit natin? Kasasabi lang is your brachial pulse, okay? Letter A is the best answer, okay? Ayan, ang galing. The following are true about apical pulse, okay? Ano daw ang mga, ang totoo? Alin uh, na ang ang mga sumusunod daw are true no about apical pulse except okay may mali dyan, no except so yun yung hahanapin natin sabi sa letter A it is the most commonly auscultated site and this is correct class correct yan sa ating apical pulse so this is not the correct answer it is where point of maximum Im maximal impulse is found and that's also correct okay that's also correct okay and letter C, it is found in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line, and that's correct. That's why, class, you do not answer this one. So, the best answer for this one is we do not use this one in adult CPR kasi sabi lang natin because we are using the carotid pulse. Okay? Carotid pulse yung ginagamit natin dyan. Okay? Yan. Okay? Carotid pulse po ang okay ginagamit natin dyan. Okay? Number, okay? 44 is letter D. Number 45, the following are true about brachial pulse. Okay, the following true are about brachial pulse daw, except. Yan. Okay, sabi sa letter A, it is located medially along the anticubital fossa. Letter B, it is used in infant CPR. Letter C, it is used in taking blood pressure. Letter D, none of the above. Alam natin that it is located, correct yan, medially along the anticubital fossa. Okay? And it is above, no? above actually the anticubital fossa and it is used in infant CPR that's correct and this one is also used class in taking blood pressure so the best answer for this one is none of the above okay kasi yung nahanap natin except eh okay wala walang mali sa tatlo the best answer is letter D number 46 it is the phenomenon where the systolic blood pressure decreases by 10 millimeters mercury during inhalation okay ang tawag natin dyan class is Okay, during inhalation class, kapag may decrease class ng 10 millimeters mercury during inhalation class, is that's what we call as your pulsus paradoxus. Tandaan ninyo ha, it's your pulsus paradoxus. It's not error of parallax, okay, it's not COVID syndrome. Alam yung COVID syndrome class, this is a concept in maternal and child health nursing na kung saan class, okay, child health nursing na kung saan class, yung inyong father class ang naglilihi. No, during pregnancy. So, it's something that's psychological. Um, there is no such thing as pulse amplitude error. So, the best answer for this one is letter B. Okay, pulses paradoxus. 
This pulse site is affected during percutaneous transluminal cardiac angiography and the best answer for this one class is femoral because class sa femoral artery po pinapasok po ang ating catheter okay sa ating PTCA. Tandaan niyo letter A nasa upper part po yan ng inner thigh po ng ating pasyente. So the best answer for this one is femoral artery. Okay, these pulse sites are checked to monitor possible compartment syndrome in the lower extremities. So, sagot dito class is your pedal pulses, and correct yan, that with this, which is also your dorsalis pedis and your posterior tibia. So, the best answer for this one class is all of the above. Okay? Sagot is letter D. Okay? D is the best answer. Okay? Number 49. Which of the following pulse sites are used in Allen's test? Sabi sa letter A, your brachial pulse, letter B, your radial pulse, letter C, your carotid pulse, and letter D, none of the above. Tandaan ninyo, class, ang, ang ginagamit po sa Allen's test na ito ay dalawa po. We have your, sa Allen's test po na ito, okay, dalawa yung ginagamit nating pulses. Okay, which are your number one is yung ulnar Okay, yung ulnar. And then, pangalawa naman class is your radial pulse. So, the best answer for this one class is, of course, okay, B is the best answer. Ayan. Okay? B is the best answer. Number 50, it is the pulse located on the lateral aspect of the eye. Sinabi na natin yan kanina, class. It's what we call as your temporal, okay, pulse. So, ayan. That ends our... A rationalization of 50 item fundamentals of nursing examination and I hope and I pray na may natutunan po tayo sa araw na to. Ang tabayanan po ninyo ang more and more uploads natin mga kaibigan dito lang po yan sa ating channel sa Julie Iskala and we will be having more and more rationalization show dito po sa ating channel. Maraming salamat and God bless everyone.